The year is 2014, and Minecraft is dominating the gaming and YouTube space. Fans were happy and updates were rolling out nicely. However, there was a man stressed by his own creation. Marcus Person, better known as Notch. See, Marcus was the creator of Minecraft, which was both a blessing and a curse. Instead of getting praised for his work, Notch was often harassed online, all because of some toxic fans who didn't like the updates being put out and were just unsatisfied. And this continued for months while Notch ran Minecraft. Something had to change. So in one of his tweets where he was venting, he asked anyone, anyone, if they wanted to buy Minecraft from him saying, quote, anyone want to buy my share of Mojang so I can move on with my life? Getting hate for trying to do the right thing is not my gig. Soon after that, Microsoft reached out and the rest is history. Minecraft was sold for $2.5 billion to the tech company known as Microsoft. But what if things went differently? What if Notch never said anything? What if Microsoft never bought Minecraft? I mean, the idea seems simple at first. Notch would still be a part of the community and obviously still own the game. But really digging deep, Minecraft could really be a totally different game. Would it even still be popular? Maybe even more popular? Well, let's figure that out. For the sake of this experiment, we're going to eliminate Notch's vent tweet that made him one of the richest men alive in his time. So yes, there are still some toxic fans out there, but Notch could handle it in this scenario. We'll be looking at three different aspects of the game. First, obviously features and updates, that's kind of a no-brainer, branding, and popularity, since those are arguably what makes Minecraft, Minecraft. Seeing where Minecraft is now compared to the reality we're making. So let's start off with branding. Now, as I've already said in previous videos, Microsoft seems to be the lead in anything that has to do with branding for Minecraft. We've gotten three Minecraft spinoff games, excluding Minecraft Story Mode because Microsoft isn't credited and the game was already in development before 2014, aka the year where the purchase happened. Minecraft merch, Minecraft partnerships, Minecraft, almost everything. But what's Mojang, or Notch's plan always to make tons of merch and spinoffs and stuff? Well, maybe not as much. See, in 2012, Minecraft released a video on their official YouTube channel announcing Minecraft Legos which actually makes a lot of sense given Minecraft's similar message and goal. Even Notch himself was in this video, leading me to believe that they always had a plan to expand Minecraft's brand. In addition, Minecraft Story Mode had already been greenlit and was separated from the purchase, only being announced a few months after the purchase happened. And honestly, Minecraft Story Mode is probably the only Minecraft spinoff that makes sense. Other games seem to just slap on the Minecraft brand with whatever genre, so nothing feels unique or smart. I think Mojang would have had a better, more unique Minecraft spin-off and branding as well, instead of just slapping on the Minecraft logo wherever they see as fit, since apparently Microsoft is doing that. And I doubt that they'll even run out of money before we even get to that point. Money would still be pouring in. Now let's move on to popularity. To be honest, the game would be a lot less popular if not around the same. And the reason that I think it will be a little bit less popular if not a lot is because Microsoft had planned to expand Minecraft beyond just Xbox. And thus we have all kinds of different platforms with Microsoft's Bedrock Edition, the most used edition out of the two, since a majority of gamers in the world use a console like a PS4 or an Xbox, whereas some PC players wouldn't even know how to handle Java Edition because of how poorly optimized it is now. Which means cross-platform is mainly Microsoft. The argument could be made that Notch wouldn't have too much trouble adding Minecraft to other platforms since they had Pocket Edition back in 2011, but since Mojang was a lesser known company with fewer resources, I don't really know. But I'm curious what you guys think, so let me know in the comments. Now for updates, it's a bit iffy. I want to believe Mojang would be able to pump out updates as fast as they are now, but Microsoft provides Mojang with a lot of money and resources. Sure, Mojang can earn money themselves, but they need money to spend money. However, looking at how much money Micro was earning back in 2011 and 2014, I'd say they probably had enough money to stay afloat, pump out updates, and still have millions left over. In addition, Notch had a few ideas that he wanted to add to the game before he ended up departing. Posted in 2010 on a to-do list website called Toddledo, I hope I'm saying right, Notch posted his own list titled simply to-do list. Without reading all of his original ideas, some features were actually added, while others haven't or probably won't ever see the light of day. From seasons to a dungeon mode. It's important to note that not all of these ideas would get added, but I assume we would have gotten most. The question of whether Notch would make some of the game saving updates that we have today, like the aquatic or village and pillage update, is something we simply can't answer. However, Microsoft purchasing Minecraft was incredibly controversial and even led some players to leave the game. 
so maybe if Notch never sold the game, Minecraft wouldn't lose so many players in the first place, not necessarily needing any game-changing updates. So now that we've reviewed it, is Minecraft better off without Microsoft? The answer is an instant yes. Money is pretty much covered and updates are already good. If anything, Minecraft would be better in the technical world. I mean, there wouldn't be any unnecessary chat reporting features and the oversimplified logos wouldn't even change. But why is Microsoft often a huge issue in the first place? Well, check out this video for a more in-depth analysis of Microsoft and Minecraft, in addition to a video about the Minecraft Terms of Service. God bless and farewell.